friends, hello family, hello fellow humans. I want to invite you on a little journey with me. I had some interesting experiences and I just want to share them with you. Uh, firstly, I had a cross country road trip and on this road trip I saw such beautiful things. I saw a lot of national parks and I saw the beauty and the wonder of nature and it really moved me. I don't want to share that with you.
also saw a lot of friends and family on this trip. And I saw the love they had, the love they had for me, the love they had for each other, uh, the love they had uh, for the world, for all kinds of things. And that was really beautiful too. And I came to the conclusion that the Grand Canyon was beautiful and amazing in its way. Uh, but that love of human beings that is inside all of us, I think, that is just as beautiful as the Grand Canyon, just in a different way, just in a different way. So that's the light, uh, the beauty in nature, the beauty that is within people, the light that is within people. And I want to share a lot of that. Uh, but I also saw some ugly things. I saw some real ugly things. I saw a lot of homelessness. I saw a lot of poverty. I saw a lot of desperation. I saw a lot of pain and suffering. And I want to share that too. I want to share that too, because that I think is an interesting experience uh, that is there for me to learn from and, and maybe for you if you want. And that's the darkness. So I want to share some experiences about the light and about the darkness and about the beauty of the light 
in the context of that darkness. It's kind of like the old MLK quote, only in darkness can we see the stars. And I experienced that in my life. And I just want to share that experience. And I don't know where it's going to take you. Uh, you know, a lot of these videos and pictures uh, are some of the best video and picture work that I've ever done in my entire life. But they still sort of pale in comparison to actually experiencing it for myself. And I kind of came to peace with that because I decided, you know what? For this, the, the people that have already seen this type of thing, like I, it, it, it serves only to sort of rekindle that sense of awe and wonder in them, to remind them of their own experience. And for the people who haven't experienced something like the Grand Canyon or Zion or Yosemite, I hope it can kind of inspire you just to, to see it and say like, man, you know, if it looks this good on just this video, I wonder what it's like to actually be there. Because I'll tell you, being there is just so much more impactful. It's so much more beautiful. Uh, video and cameras and film just can't quite capture the full grandeur, the full magic of this type of stuff. So whether I'm rekindling an old wonderful memory or whether I'm inspiring you to go make a new memory of your own, uh, I think that per serves a purpose and I think that's worth sharing. Uh, now, light in the darkness, there's some other aspects of that too. So this little road trip journey fits within a bigger journey of mine, uh, uh, sort of my life journey. And actually on the road trip, I started journaling. And as I started journaling, I didn't want to just keep it to myself. I, I shared it through texts with family and friends, so it became kind of a interactive journal almost. Uh, and it, res it seemed to resonate with people, uh, at least some people. So I figured, you know, why don't I share that? Why don't I share that and share it more broadly? And if it resonates with you, great. <laughs> if it doesn't, that's okay. That's okay to each soul its own path. Uh, and like a 12-step meeting, just take what you need and leave the rest. Uh, speaking of 12-step meetings, that light in the darkness, part of my life journey is a recovery journey. It's a uh, battle with, with addiction and with a lot of compulsive behaviors, uh, but a journey into sobriety through recovery. And that addiction, oh, that is darkness. That is darkness, that is pain and suffering, it is loneliness, it is isolation, uh, but recovery, oh, recovery is so beautiful. As, as addiction can be so ugly, recovery can be so, so beautiful. Uh, it's light, it's love, it's connection. Uh, connection to each other, to fellow human beings, uh, to service, uh, to a higher power, and it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous, and I wanna share that. Uh, and also, sort of more broadly, uh, within my life journey, there's some other little journeys. Uh, there's a health journey, there's a mental health journey, uh, things like meditation. Uh, there's a physical journey uh, in terms of getting in a better place uh, physically. better exercise, better sleep, better nutrition. I ended up going vegan on this journey. I used to be a dedicated meat eater. I used to drink gallons of milk a week. Uh, and so it's a little bizarre to me that I ended up going vegan, but I did. And you know, maybe that's not for you and that's okay. Take what you need and leave the rest. But I think it's an interesting journey. And I did run across a few people on this trip uh, who just took an interest in it. They're like, hey, can you share more about that? You know, and I've been thinking about it. I just kind of want to hear your experience or I tried it, but it didn't seem to work. You know, how are you making it work? Like, I'm just going to share that stuff. You take what you need and leave the rest. If it interests you, great. If it doesn't, that's okay. So basic messages. What are the basic messages uh, that this, this channel, this content I'm going to bring you 
it, what is that? What is that message? What is the message? Uh, it's twofold, but it's really just two permutations on the same thing. Darkness is out there, but so is the light. And the light is beautiful. And that just comes through in so many ways. It comes through in nature, it comes through in people, in our relationships with people, in addiction and recovery. Uh, and I just want to share that stuff. Uh, and I, I'd love it if it inspires you. I'd love it if it encourages you. Uh, but, you know, that's up to you. Uh, a related message is, you know, if someone you love or care about or you are struggling with addiction or some sort of compulsive behavior, you're not alone. And there is hope. Freedom from addiction and compulsive behaviors is possible. Uh, and I know one of the ways it's possible is through working the 12 steps. I'm not going to claim exclusivity, uh, but I know that hope is out there. Uh, addiction, like I said, is it's dark. It's isolation. It's pain. It's suffering. It's loneliness, self-hatred, self-loathing. Recovery is the light. It's connection. It's light. It's love. It's growth. It's beautiful. Uh, so if that encourages you, and if you like that message, if you want to spread that message, great. So if you want to hear and see more about those messages, hop aboard. Join me on this journey. I'm not totally sure where it's going, uh, but that's okay. I'm just taking this one, one day at a time, one step at a time. Uh, and if you want to support that message, spread that message, spread that light, uh, please consider clicking on this video that I'm going to link to uh, down below. Uh, please consider liking this video and any other videos that you see on this channel that you like. Please consider, if you haven't already, hitting the subscribe button. Uh, and there's also a lot of other ways that you can support us, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in this other video. Uh, thank you for joining me. Love and light to all of you today. God bless you.